Hey, what is up everybody? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel and this is a game I've wanted to check out for quite a while now. This is Torque Drift 2. With Auto Legends coming out in a few months, I've been trying to educate myself on the ideas of NFTs and this game does have NFTs in it in some form. Uh, as far as like parts and cars and stuff like that. Actually here, I'll show you their digital store on their website. So over here on their website, you can see that they have their digital collectibles. You can play it for free. It's available on the Epic Games Store. But if you go over to Digital Store, you can actually see some of the stuff you can get. So for example, there's Fair Lady Z Nissan, uh, GTR 35, steering wheels, seats, uh, different rarities like Legendary, Ultra Rare, uh, some coming soon stuff. If you go to what's in stock, you can see parts for like wheels. Now, they aren't terribly expensive, uh, surprisingly. I would compare them more to like in-app purchase pricing, which isn't awful. But I do like that you can customize. There's so much you can do with a $9 wheel that you can't do with a $2 wheel, for example. But that's not the only things you can really mess with. Like there's tons of wheels here. There's the toe straps, there's gear shifters, there's um, a lot of gear shifters. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. What? Like, I get it, but... Ah, seats. How much are seats? Let's check out a set of seats. Oh. Do better. Limited edition seats. 95 cents or 5 bucks. Like, that's not honestly terrible. Really? I, I know people get mad about stuff like this, but realistically, a dollar for that is not ultimately that terrible. Physical car parts? Oh my god, you can buy actual car parts from them. That's crazy. Wait, what? Oh, holy crap, you can... Wait. Fiat search do they have uh looks like universal crap anyway you you get my point <laughs> you can buy all like there's tons of stuff and i haven't played the game at all yet i want to see what you can earn in the game versus what you can you know get this way uh so let's also even see if it'll play on my computer hardware so let's check it out all right, is that a Honda Acti in the background? Where, can you see my mouse? You can. Where, is that like a Honda Acti, one of those Subarus? I don't know. Anyway, so. Oh. All right, welcome to Torque Drift 2. Hey, Drifters, welcome to Torque Drift 2 Garage Preview. Here you'll be able to customize and showcase your cars in various environments. Check out your new in-game garage and have a glimpse at what's to come. Sick. And then they tell you to obviously join the Discord. Yo. I kind of like the fuzziness of the graphics. Oh, you guys can't see what's going on. I had the controller layout up. Uh, Here, let me hide it for you. Anyway, this does look like it's easier to go through with the mouse rather than a controller. But there is the shop. There's tuning, which is not in the game yet. You guys know me. Any kind of tuning in a game, I always hold my judgment on a game until the tuning is added and I see how deep it goes. Because I've always looked for a game that's got the level of tuning that 1320 Legends had. I've never come across a game that's got that. So we'll see what that's going to have in the future here. There is the shop. There's drifting and tournaments. There's my profile. You can keychain your avatar you can edit all that stuff there's your crew you can do photo booth stuff that is sick and with what the graphics look like in this game that's pretty sick all right let's go see what car handling is like there's a beta multiplayer lobby and just a practice session you can change the track too okay cool what tracks are available Irwindale Long Beach Hakone? Hakone? Please, bear with me. <laughs> and this is not available unless you buy the exclusive keychain. Okay. 
Let's do... Let's do Long Beach. That sounds fun. Start practice session. So right now, my computer hardware is a... It's a AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. 4 gigahertz overclocked. It's got the... Uh, it's not called XMP on AMD, but whatever that's called, it's enabled. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM. AMD RX 574 gigabyte Red Dragon GPU. Uh, I am sitting at not enough FPS to really play the game. So that kind of worries me here. Oh, it's manual transmission. How do I go up a gear? Okay. Yeah, my FPS is bad. Oh no. I might not even be able to play this. Let's see if I can... What's the lowest graphic setting? Low. Makes sense. Let's see. Does that help any? No, it doesn't. I'm sitting right around 20 FPS on this game. There is a mobile version of this game as well, actually. You can rotate around the car. That's sick. The graphics are just terrible, though. Realistically, turning down the graphics settings doesn't really do anything except, like, put a weird TV filter over it. I am only playing this at, like, 1920 by 800. I'm playing it windowed mode because I thought my computer would like it more. Wow, the graphics are terrible. And no, I can, this is unplayable on my computer. That's so unfortunate. I really wanted to play it. The drifting, from what I can feel, it's not fair to judge it when these are my FPS. Uh, when my FPS is so low. Honestly, it doesn't feel like 30 FPS. What in the world did I just hit? I do not like the default uh, button layout for controls. X is downshift. I'm playing on an Xbox controller. X is downshift. B is upshift. It doesn't make any sense. Make B break. X upshift and A downshift. That makes more sense. Why is B upshift? Yeah, this is unplayable on my computer. That is so unfortunate. And then A is the e-brake. Yep, unplayable on my computer. That is so unfortunate. Even, yeah, just recording. I'm watching OBS lag its butt off. This video might not even be watchable, unfortunately. So, I guess I'm not making a video on this uh, game, or I'm not making a series on this game like I was really hoping to. But, uh... This ended up being shorter than I really planned on because I wanted to give it a good proper review. But if my computer can't even play it on the lowest graphics settings, on a computer that's not... Yes, the GPU is pretty outdated at this point. Even still, I've played stuff that's a little more graphic intensive than this, and I didn't have these problems. It is based on the Unreal Game Engine, so maybe that's part of it. Unreal games just really require a good computer. So, I don't know. We'll find out in the future. Maybe I'll finally get a new GPU, which I'd really like to. And we'll go from there. But until then, I guess I'm not really making a video on this game. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.